The first day of spring is next week already, and while a lot of us are looking forward to the warmer weather, with it will also come seasonal allergies. Dr. Bob Barb Calkins <laughs> is here with Children's Hospital of Wisconsin Westbrook Pediatrics, and she's here to talk to us about identifying those allergies and treating them in kids. Doctor, good to see you again. Hi, nice to see you. All right, so uh, let's first talk about what we're what we're looking at when we when we say seasonal allergies. What kind of stuff does that mean? Yep. So most common symptoms in children is watery, itchy eyes, mm -hmm. sneezing, runny nose. Nose, um, coughing, but usually the eyes and nose. And how do you things. know the difference between that and uh, my kids getting a cold? So usually it presents when kids are outside and playing, mm -hmm. and then they notice that during that time that their nose is running more and their eyes are starting to itch. Versus a cold, they're kind of feeling miserable all day with fever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right. So um, when we talk about uh, treating those symptoms. What are some of the things that you recommend? I know there are medications, but let's do the other sort of homeopathic things first. Sure. So probably the easiest thing parents can do is just to make sure that once their kids are done playing outside that they um, have their kids shower or bathe before going to bed. Otherwise, they're sleeping with pollens in their hair and on their skin. Um, keeping their windows closed in their bedroom and keeping their windows closed in the car helps so you don't mm -hmm. have pollens floating around. Um, and then I think trying to minimize the time that they're spending outside in the morning because that's usually when pollens are at the highest. Right, so like that. really basic prevention stuff. How about uh, for the kids who are affected uh, more severely? Yep. As you see, it's really starting to get in the way. Yep. Is that time to call the doctor then? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's probably, right now we're seeing an increase in the tree pollen. So it's mm -hmm. one of our big calls that we're getting right now at the Children's Health and Hospital Primary Care Clinic. So I think when the kids are having a lot of symptoms, you're gonna wanna try doing um, an, an antihistamine like Claritin or Zyrtec or generics of those, because that really will help um, reduce the symptoms. And then probably the most um, effective thing that's on over the counter is a nasal steroid or a nasal spray, Nasonex, Flonase, to help with like the nose symptoms of allergies. Uh, and when a child maybe has a serious reaction, you yeah. get worries uh, of like an asthma attack right. or something like that. Is it is it the same thing or is it different? And uh, how do you yeah. know? Yeah, that's different. So there are our kids that have asthma and mm -hmm. their allergies are really triggered, okay. um, triggering their asthma. And those kids would present with coughing, shortness of breath and wheezing. Mm -hmm. And you would treat that differently. You would still use your antihistamines, but you would be giving those children inhalers that are prescribed by their doctor. All right, well, I'm still looking forward to spring anyway. Yes, right. I'm too. I'm definitely <laughs> looking right. forward to it. Thanks, doctor. Appreciate yeah, you being here. Yeah, happy spring. <laughs> For more information on treating those seasonal allergies or any of the topics we discussed here with Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, you can check out a link on our website, tmj4.com.